Check it out. Cloudy tap water. Nothing like it. I'm just kidding. There's lemon juice in there. It's I'm all right. I'm okay. So I don't know how many of you know this, but it was just my birthday. On February 2nd, I turned 25. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm only saying this so I can get more birthday wishes. So thanks in advance. <laughs> but no need to worry. I didn't throw any parties. I didn't do any of that stupid stuff. I'm smarter than that. You know, my brain is fully developed now at 25 years old. So this is what you're stuck with if you're watching me for the rest of the time until I'm 40 and you're all 40 and you're still watching YouTube, why? Go take care of your kids. Anyways, in honor of getting old, does anybody remember the Whisper app? It was made in like 2012. It's an app where you can post anonymous stuff. For example, you could go on there and type, I shit my pants, and then put it on a picture of like a beach setting and nobody knows who you are, okay? Or you could go on there and confess that you jumped somebody and nobody will know who you are. It's anonymous. I remember everybody using this app in high school back in 1953. I don't know if people still use it now. Hey, it's Sam from the future here. Just wanted to say I have a podcast. If you haven't checked it out and you want something to listen to that's really stupid, check out, I'll put the link down in there. It's called Outspoken Podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, and it's all free. So if you do want to check, and it's on YouTube. Okay, so if you do want to check it out, I'll leave the link or just search up Outspoken, Sam Collins. Okay, I'll continue. So thankfully, I spend all of my time on Twitter. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's my Twitter. I talk to people a lot on there. So if you're lonely, I'll be your friend. No, I won't. But I was just scrolling and I saw this account called Whispers underscore finest. Okay. And they find the best whisper posts. That's what we're doing today. And I know you might be like, how funny can a whisper post be? You want me to show you? You want me to start right now? I'll start right now. Look at this right here. The first one. It's a picture of Jeff Bezos, okay? And it says, do you think he has ever felt true love? So this is what we're starting out with today. Billionaire discrimination. Just because someone is a billionaire doesn't mean they can't feel true love. You know, for example, I feel true love. So let's not even go there. I'm joking, but I do wonder if he has ever felt true love. I mean, I feel like love is all in the eyes. If you take a look into his eyes, are those eyes capable of true love? I mean, really, really look into them. Maybe. Maybe the love of money. Fuck my miserable, sad, stupid, pathetic, f -slur life. And doesn't help that I'm fat as fuck. <laughs> Crying emoji. Everything is wrong in this photo. First of all, there's a million F words. Okay, there's too many. I, I might get in trouble for this video. Then we have Jennifer Aniston Gorgas up top. You know, nothing is better than seeing a gorgeous picture of Jennifer Aniston, in my opinion. Come on, you gotta agree with me. But also, I feel like a lot of people agree... I see this tweet on my timeline of Twitter at least once every 10 minutes. It's the same. It's literally those words. I think a lot of you need help. Are Allens real? Hold on. Wait, there wasn't a question mark. Are Allens real? I don't know. I've never seen an alien. Allens might be real, but aliens maybe not. Also, why can nobody spell on this app? Smack cam and a bunch of gravestones. See, I didn't actually get this one. Everybody in the comments understood it, but nobody explained it. Can somebody explain it to me? Because I actually don't like smack cam, like smacking the gravestone. So it's not that funny. Is that supposed to be funny? All right. <laughs> Tips for removing smell of dung? Question mark. Why do they use the word dung instead of like poop or shit or feces? Dung? Who uses that word? seriously who used i don't i've never heard anybody use this word also that's a great tutorial on how to do a ponytail i guess what is this ariana grande's ponytail tutorial no i think it has to be a lot higher actually scared that drunk me will try fucking o o m f i mean that's a valid whisper i feel like that's a good use of the app instead of asking how to remove the smell of dung like this is something that you would post anonymously just to get it off your chest here's a good one and they took a picture of this kid from like what 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 phone is this look at this phone that that has to be like an iphone 4 gay just don't sit right with me well they probably don't sit with you because you look like that you take pictures like that this keeps me up at night <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you have to experience this all over again. The dress. You know what? I'm actually going to put this dress in the thumbnail just to piss all of you off. So when you click on this, you're going to be like, why am I, Why did I click on this? For the dress? This stupid dress from, from a thousand years ago? And what colors is it to you? It still keeps me up at night every night. That's the reason I can't go to sleep for the past five years. For me, an intellectual, it's blue and black. I don't know about the rest of you. Agree or disagree? Homosexuals are not normal and should be banished from society. Is this supposed to be parlor? Maybe they thought they were on the parlor app, but
but they're actually in the Whisper app. Also, this picture, 10 drinks, one heart broken. 10 drinks? You had 10 drinks. That's concerning. Maybe you should, well, everybody has a different tolerance. Maybe you should get that checked out. But if we corrected this, it would sound better if it said, the Shapiros are not normal and should be banished from society. Get it? These two? I should probably stop making the same jokes about the same people every time. I'll try it. I'll try it next time. This one says, I hate coronavirus. And that picture's a little too familiar. A little bit too familiar, isn't it? Who could it be? Oh, would you look at that? Somebody guessed it. It's Freddy and Sam from iCarly. What does this have to do? What is this? Why is this like that? Here we have an extremely squeezed photo of Gordon Ramsay. And it says, Gordon Ramsay, I just know it's thick, period. What? The steaks? Like the meat that he cooks? One of the meats? Some, some meat? Oh, I'm going to just not... We're gonna skip right over this one. Moment for life is greater than the national anthem. I agree, hands down, 100%. <laughs> I was gonna start singing it. I wish that I could have this moment for life. For life. Yeah, definitely, 100 times better than anybody's national anthem. Why is that even, that shouldn't even be a statement, that should just be common sense. Here we go, we have a controversial one, okay? Don't get too offended now, all right? It says, gender is a corn stalk hard agree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so sick of the discussion between whether gender is a corn stalk or not. It is. It's all, look at this diagram. It literally shows that gender is a corn stalk. So why is there such a big argument around it? I don't understand. You guys need to relax. You're so sensitive. Just relax. Okay. This next one makes me feel really good about myself. All right. And I think it's going to make a lot of you feel bad about yourself. Hit rock bottom again. Going to watch Twilight. I am so sorry if that relates to you. I watched Twilight once, the whole series, when I was like 14 years old, and I never watched it again. So if you're rewatching that now, I'm sorry that you're going through that. Have you been to your therapist? Okay, I'm sorry, we'll go on to the next one. Are you a boy or a girl? Bitch, I'm a goofy goober. This would have been something that was popular in 2010 on Tumblr. But it should be a photo of somebody with like the shutter glasses. Remember those glasses from back in the day? That's what it should have been on. Because, like, you're cool as fuck, right? Bitch, I'm a goofy goober. Grandma pooped on the stairs and feel down them. I didn't even read that correct at first. I actually thought it spelled fell down them. But this made me laugh so good. And then when I, I was making this video, I was like, this picture in real life, like, you see this photo on the background, right? It's probably actually a really sad. It was a really sad occurrence. But somebody found it. I don't know how it got online. And then they made it into like grandma pooped herself and then fell down the stairs on her on her dung. That's what happened. But <laughs> but the picture, I feel so bad. I actually feel so bad. What happened? What happened to these grandparents? I'm done laughing at it. Just smocked weed. Don't text. Hell yeah, dude. I love to smock weed. Speaking of smocks, do you guys remember these? These things, you put them on when you paint. If you had art class as a kid and you had to grab one of those really dirty smocks before you painted your shitty ceramic little bowl that you went home and gave to your parents and then they used it for five years to put like petty change in and then they threw it out. You don't know where it went now that you're an adult, right? Right? I just described your childhood. Thank you. That'll be $5. Look what I found on Depop. I wouldn't be surprised. Do you guys know that Amy Duncan got canceled for being an anti-masker? Again, we can't be surprised. I mean, her name, her name is Lay Allen Baker. Is that how you say it? Let me go to Google Translate. Lee Allen Baker. Oh, Lee Allen Baker? But it's spelled in that way. Sorry if anybody's name is spelled like that. But is it surprising, though? Look at, look at her. Look at her face. She just looks like she's not meant to wear a mask, and she would refuse, so... Let's have a drink and then have some breathe-taking sex. Hell yeah, man, I'll drink to that. There is nothing better than having breathe-taking sex. You know, after downing like five Coronas. Ladies, I have a question about discharge. Why can nobody on this app spell? Half of the flags y'all LGBT plus mother effers have look like beach towels. Is this not a photo of two girls doing a proposal? This looks like a hotel lobby. You can tell the picture's old because of this shitty light filter on the left. But also, that's ironic. This has to be a joke. But, you know, good idea. I think next time I go to the beach, I'm just going to use the trans flag as a towel. Most perfect thin 
material, right? It'll definitely keep the wet off of me. And then I can come out to everybody at the beach. It's a good idea. All right, here we have a beautiful picture of Demi Lovato. And it just says two words, striping online. All right, watch out, everybody. This person is striping online. Wearing my new lingerie. <laughs> you know, when I first learned the word lingerie, and it's spelled like that, okay, for reference, I was pronouncing it as lingerie for the longest time. And then somebody corrected me. I forget when that was, but I was saying lingerie for the longest time. That is embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. I mean, that's what it looks like it says, right? Lingerie. That's what it, how did lingerie, is it French? Is the word French? I'm a straight guy, but love other guys' butts. Okay, well, you're, that's fine. You're still a straight guy. As long as they have shoes on, doesn't matter. If you find them sexy, you're still, if they have shoes on, like this picture, right? In this photo, they have shoes on. You're not gay. Don't worry about it. You're straight. Call her ugly. Call her whore. I call her best friend. I think if your best friend is getting called an ugly whore, you should definitely tell her immediately. Unless it's you calling her ugly and a whore. Which in this case it is, because you did it in the Whisper app. So for this next one, I have a riddle for you, all right? So listen clearly. What do you call the lesbian version of a gay person? So let's make that equation a little easier. The lesbian version of a lesbian would mean you are an ultra lesbian, right? Math. I hate it when guys say, you're so beautiful. How are you single? It's because I'm fucking crazy, okay? I'm a fucking lunatic. This shit is definitely the type of text post that would have went viral on Tumblr. I know I said Tumblr a couple of times here, but I'm serious. This would have had 50,000 reblogs, just the sentence alone, because it's because <laughs> it's so relatable. It's because I'm fucking crazy, all right? I'm a fucking lunatic. This and this have the same energy. Am I right? I fell in love with a pandemic. Do you mean I fell in love during a pandemic? Or you actually fell in love with a pandemic? So does that mean your boyfriend is a contagious disease that spread around the world? Maybe. And to end today's video on a light note, we have our last whisper. And that is, I hate global warning. Me too. Global warning really gets me going. That shit is terrifying. When the globe warns you, that was awful. That was really bad. <laughs> but global warming is a real issue. Take a look at this polar bear. I don't know if that's photoshopped, but that's really sad. S stop littering. All right. Actually, if you do litter, stop littering. I will have you know when I see trash on the floor, I pick it up. Suck on that. Anyways, to wrap all of it up, if you liked the video, let me know. I might do a part two if you all like it a lot. And if you hate it, just let me know and I won't do it ever again. So I hope you all have a great day or night or afternoon, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.